Okay, now there are a couple of different ways that I can tell this is an owl pellet. Number one is because of all of the bones in it. Owls don't have any teeth, so they can't actually chew up their prey per se. They swallow their prey whole and they regurgitate or vomit out these pellets that are full of the bones and the teeth and the claws and any other hard part of the animal that they could not consume. Judging by the size of this, I'm gonna say this was a big owl. I'm not sure as of the species by any account. If any of you guys may have an idea on what species of owl might have produced this pellet, please let me know in the comments down below. I'd be interested to hear your opinions and your thoughts on this subject. But I've got my gloves on now, and I have a Ziploc bag, so that way we can gather this guy up safely, not get our hands dirty. There might possibly be some bacteria in here. It's a pretty good chance, considering it is owl puke. I don't really like to touch puke from a human, let alone an animal. So I've got my gloves on, keep my hands nice and clean. This thing is pretty hefty. It's got a lot of weight to it. It is really moist, and I think a lot of that is because of all the moisture in the ground. And uh, last night, there was just a lot of fog and a lot of dew. The temperature has been fluctuating a lot. It frosted last night, and then now the temperature is about 60 degrees. So it had a lot of moisture inside of it. It's not completely dried out. But now that we've got it nice and secure in our bag, nice and clean, Let's go cut this guy open and take a gander at all these bones. I'm excited for this. So without further ado, this is finding and dissecting an owl pellet that we found out in the woods. Let's get right into it. My Simba is a little upset. My cat really wants to play with this. I love you too. All right, now I have not done this in an extremely long time. It's been probably at least 15 years since I've done anything like this. So this is not professional. This is just something I'm doing for fun. And I hope all of you guys enjoy this. It's extremely moist as I pull it apart. One little bug. I'm imagining there's probably gonna be several little bugs inside of this. That's okay, I'm gonna to try to catch them as they come out. Again, this is definitely not the proper method, but I thought you guys might enjoy it and I'm definitely going to enjoy it too. With all the fur and the size of these bones, I'm assuming that this is probably a whole bunch of different mice that this owl has eaten and then regurgitated. As I dig into it, I can hear it making all kinds of squishy noises. Okay, now because this probably isn't the most interesting thing to watch for some people, I am going to jump the camera forward several minutes so that way you guys can see what I pulled out of this and I'm only going to be pulling out whatever I felt comfortable with gathering and pulling out. I'm not going to grab every bone but we're going to jump the camera forward a few minutes and then we'll see what bones we have. Okay now I have this for the most part dissected. There's still a lot of really really tiny bones like rib bones and pieces of vertebrae inside of this pile here but I'm not gonna go through and remove every little bone 
just because I'm not going for any accuracy here. I'm not trying to be super scientific in any way. I'm just really curious to see what was inside of this. I was excited to find a skull to get an idea on what was being eaten by whatever creature laid this, whether it was an owl or a fox. After some research, I found out that fox will actually leave scat similar to owl pellets because foxes can't digest bones and fur too much either. Based on the size, I don't know whether it was a fox or an owl. I'm assuming it was an owl, but again, I'm not quite sure. If any of you guys know what creature laid this, let me know in the comments down below. However, what I did find... is this thing right here, which is a skull that looks to be a skull or the cranium of a very small bird. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these bones that I've gathered and I'm going to put them in a bowl of water so that way we can clean them off a little better and I'll take it outside so we can get a really good view because the lighting is really getting bad inside. So let's clean these up and let's go outside. Okay, now the wind has died down a little bit. It's still pretty windy out, but I have the bowl of our bones and fur. The water will help to separate the fur from the bones so that way we can pull the bones out and get a much clearer look at them. So let's do that right now and pull the bones out of this bowl and separate them from the fur. It's like a witch's stew. Like a witch. <laughs> Imagine a big wart on my nose. Okay, now right here is the skull of this bird, very small bird. I can tell this because it does have a beak, or what's left of its beak anyways, right there. We have the jaws of another creature right here. You can see the teeth of whatever creature this was, right there. Really cool to see. I'm assuming this doesn't come from the bird because to my knowledge, most birds don't have teeth. I don't think any bird has teeth. But right here, you guys can get an idea of the different kind of bones that I found inside of this owl pellet. A lot of small rib bones and other very, very small bones, some mandibles and jaws. We do have a skull section right there of a small bird. We do have the what looks to be the lower jaw of like a mouse or several mice because there's four or five of these things inside of this owl pellet. So this was an extremely fun thing to do. I have not done this in like 15 or so years since I was in maybe the very beginning of high school in like ninth grade. I think that was the very last time that I did an owl pellet. I think my first time I was in sixth grade. But I hope all of you guys enjoyed this, and this is just another fun thing that you guys can find when you're out in the woods foraging wild plants or hiking. And you might see something that looks like what I found earlier, and there's a good chance it's an owl pellet. So I hope all of you guys enjoyed this video. I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.